Hey guys, how's it going? I want to show you guys something that I think is really cool in beta flight that will help out new pilots and seasoned pilots as well where it comes to trimming out your quadcopter. Um, I think everyone probably has seen it, but I figured I haven't seen a video talking about it, so I thought I'd be the first. So if you go into beta flight inside the receiver tab, you'll see a representation of your quadcopter. And if you move your sticks around on your, I have, I have everything hooked up by the way and so if you don't if you don't see this if you see this quadcopter just staying perfectly still and not moving and you're not able to see your your pitch your roll pitch yaw and throttle moving around when you move your sticks and you need to check your receiver and all that but if your receiver and everything's working then you should see a representation of what your quad will do if you take off and fly and you know in this case it'll just it'll be way out of way out of tune or way out of trim i guess so what this is really cool for is for, you know, say if you crash and, you know, your quad's flying funny, you can bring it into here and you can see, you know, did I hit a button on my controller? Is it my quad? You know, stuff like that. And also for the first time pilots, this is the first place I go whenever I build a quad as I look inside of beta flight and I make sure that the trims are, you know, as level as they possibly can be. I've, I, I can say that I've gotten it very level inside of beta flight here. And I go and fly and it feels just fine. It responds just like I want. So it's a really cool tool. So, I mean, all you have to do is, so I actually modified and just moved a bunch of my trims around so you can see it's just rolling and acting silly. So if you look here. You can see it's still jumping all around and just... There we go. And when you when you get it pretty much there, you'll know. Now, as you can see, I still have a little bit of a of a yaw movement and all that. I think it's honestly my uh, my gimbals that do it because sometimes it'll stay perfectly still if I but if I push the stick down or push the stick up a little bit, it stops moving. So I think that just might be an issue with my gimbal. But I mean, that's also another great troubleshooting tip is it'll let you know if you have issues with your gimbals and 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 all that. So as as well as looking at your your receiver values. So, yeah, I just thought this was a really cool feature inside of uh, Beta Flight and figured it'd be a really cool thing to let people know about. So, awesome. Well, thanks for uh, watching my quick tip. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe, share it. If you didn't like it, tell me it sucked. I'm good with feedback. Awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.